In the movie Contagion, I played a scientist who helped discover a vaccine for a hypothetical virus. But COVID-19 is very real, and it is spreading all over our planet every day. The scientists who helped me prepare for that movie want us all to know some things that will help keep us safe. First, this is not a Chinese virus or a virus that has no effect on the young and healthy. It is what they call a novel virus, and that means our immune systems have never seen it before. So until we have a treatment or a vaccine, every single one of us, regardless of age or ethnicity, is at risk of getting it. So if you're anything like me, your first question is, how long will a vaccine take? Scientists say anywhere from 16 to 18 months, and scientists and doctors are the people we need to be listening to right now. They are the experts, and that means tuning out the voices with other agendas, no matter how powerful they might be. So why does it take so long? A vaccine is a tool that teaches our immune system to attack a disease before it makes us sick. It works by safely exposing our immune system to a small part of the virus, and doing that allows our body to manufacture antibodies and other cells that kill the virus and keep us healthy. As it turns out, designing the vaccine is the easy part, but it is critical that a vaccine is safe and effective, otherwise it can make matters worse. And that means it needs to be tested to make sure it works exactly the way we need it to. And that takes time. Now, over the course of history, science has come up with vaccines for polio and smallpox and other diseases that can be far more serious than COVID-19. And there was a time not that long ago when polio terrified people in America and smallpox killed people everywhere. But now both have all but vanished from the globe, mainly because of vaccines. I'm not a scientist, I'm an actor, I'm also a daughter, a wife, and a mother. I realize that this virus is a threat to all of us, and so I am hoping we can learn not to be a threat to each other. Science is based on evidence, on doing tests over and over again, and getting the same results. Paranoia is a kind of virus as well, it requires fear and misinformation to spread, and we don't need scientists to cure that, just compassion and common sense. So until we have a vaccine or a cure, we need to be that for each other. We can do that by listening to the public health officials where we live, observe social distancing, washing our hands often, and we can get through this together just by staying apart. Stay informed, stay healthy, stay home.